Hey folks, this is Laura. And I'm Dane. And we are doing an early summer fruit tasting. It's going to be delicious. <laughs> you don't know. You haven't tasted them yet. I'm just, I'm taking a huge gander, but I know it's <laughs> going to be great. All right. So all of these things we just picked from our yard here in the Pacific Northwest, it's just about the middle of July. And well, on this plate, we've got daylilies. We have purple gooseberries. We have green gooseberries. We've got blueberries. We have another type of red gooseberry. We have service berry. Here we've got gumi. We have a couple of beautiful mulberries right here. We've got black currant, pink currant, red currant. We have some josta berries. We have yellow raspberries red raspberries and cherries and strawberries so now comes the fun part yeah all right and even these flowers are edible yes absolutely yeah oh, oh wow. they're just like lay's potato chips like they're crunchy and succulent they're awesome hmm. we'll save that till the end okay. all right so uh let's start with raspberries so you can see we've got the red raspberry, which everybody's pretty familiar with, but then we have these amazing golden raspberries. They are huge. I can just imagine doing the Martha Stewart thing where you throw some whipped cream in there and like a blueberry or something like that. Oh Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Yes. Oh, they're really soft. They're just succulent. Mm. They're delicate. But that fragrance, right? They taste almost exactly the same as red raspberries. But there's more of like a, almost like a honey taste. Yeah, yeah. Now compare that to the red raspberry. See, that's, to me, there's a lot more strength in the beginning of that. Yeah. Almost more of like a, <clears throat> a wine-esque flavor. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. Yeah, very, very nice and strong. Okay, so this is a Josta Berry. Here, one for you. Okay. This is a cross between a black currant and a gooseberry. And you can see the gooseberry blossom. Uh, you, can you eat that as well? You can, but it's just kind of meh. Now is that amazing? Oh, wow. Yeah, rich, deep. Isn't it's, that nice? It's got that very um, sharp, but very sweet flavor mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. Now this is the black currant that it's developed from. Mm -hmm. This one is like more of a cooking current than a fresh eating current. Okay. So, you know, just keep that in mind. That you don't have to take the blossom end off of. Okay. This is really strong. Oh my goodness. That's crazy good. Woo! Isn't that amazing? That's a must in, I think, every fruit salad. Isn't that? It's got that kind of musky flavor right up front. Yeah. Oh, and it's so beautiful. They're just like little black pearls. Can I have another? <laughs> <laughs> you only have the last two there. There we go. So, so then we've got the red currants. I think these are some of the most gorgeous fruits I have ever seen. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? They're like little gems. Mm -hmm. Don't they? Yeah, they look like little rubies, don't they? Oh, oh, there we go. And they make just amazing <laughs> jam like that you would have with clotted cream. Definitely more subtle and delicate. Oh, wow. Isn't that nice? That's wonderful. I mean, I would grow this just for the fruit. Look at that. That's, that is a pink currant. Isn't that gorgeous? It almost looks like a decoration. I know, right? And they hang on these little things called strigs. They're almost like a little grape cluster. These are supposed to be some of the sweetest of all the currants. Oh, that's really nice. They just look like little orbs. Oh, they're juicy and lovely. They're beautiful. And they're wonderful. And they're juicy, right? <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? Now here's Gumi. This is a really nice, unusual fruit. I don't know why, because it is super yummy. Don't eat the stem, but there's a pit inside that you can actually eat all of. Really? Yeah. Okay. These are incredibly good for you. 17 times more lycopene than a tomato. Wow. I know, right? Okay. And when you cook with these, like we put some in a bread pudding the other night. Mm-hmm. And the pit just kind of softens. It just adds nice texture. Mm -hmm. You can just eat the whole thing. Isn't that? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think they're wonderful. Isn't that nice? It's got a very subtle but very uh, full flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these these are wild fruits mm -hmm. around here. This is a service berry. And it kind of looks like a blueberry. 
very much like a blueberry, in fact. But it's a wild fruit. It's a little darker than blueberries. So it's almost like a, a black. Oh my gosh. That is super nice. Oh wow. It's got a little bit more seed definition, but not unpleasant. Mm hmm As compared to just a regular blueberry. Now this is, I think, early blue. Mm -hmm. One of the earliest ones. Gosh, there's not that much difference. I honestly think I prefer the service berries. Isn't that? Wow, that's unusual. So these, ah, uh, these are glorious. This is a gooseberry. Mm -hmm. This is the welcome red gooseberry. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that just the most beautiful color? And the whole, all of the, the branches are just garlanded with this, this red fruit. So they're beautiful landscape plants as well as being yummy. Typical gooseberry, it's crunchy. Oh, wow. Mm. It's sweet tart, so strong. This is another example. Well, this is the original gooseberry that most people remember from their grandmother's garden. Look at this, it's hairy. There's little hairs on this. It's got little veins I in know, it too. I know, right? Yeah, that's another classic thing that gooseberries have that, that stripey appearance. Wow. But, and they're massive. Look at that. Look at the size of that thing. It's huge. Hmm. And crunchy. Little seeds that you don't really notice too much. Oh, wow. Oh, that's Super so Super yum. Good. And then there's this one. This is black velvet. This is a black gooseberry. Just a gorgeous color. This is the last of the gooseberries to ripen. And it holds on the bush forever. For like a month. This almost tastes like a grape to me. Oh yeah. Not nice. I if if I didn't know what a grape was, and you handed me that mm -hmm. and said it was a grape, it would be a grape. All right. Now, eat this and tell me if this is like any store bought strawberry you have ever had. Okay. All right. As a chef, I can speak from a lot of experience right. for that. <laughs> mm. Is that beauty? That's better than beauty. That's perfection. It really is, isn't it? And you know, we just walk out in our yard and pick it out. And then of course, cherries. Cherries, beautiful, lovely. These will come in many different colors too. Could be yellow, could be black, could be red. Um, there are yellow cherries? Mm-hmm, yep. Oh. Yeah, the birds don't take them as much because they don't realize they're ripe, <laughs> which is kind of <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Great for us. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm, good stuff. Now, daylilies. Check this out. The petals are my favorite part. You can eat the whole bud. You can like saute it and stuff, but fresh petals. Wow. Isn't that yummy? I think this should go in every salad. That tastes like lettuce. It does kind of, but sweet, like yeah, the best romaine. Like a sweet lettuce. You know? Better yeah. than romaine, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Make salads out of this. And of course, beautiful. All right. Last but not least, this is the Pakistan mulberry. They are super long, super crazy fruit. Look at that. Look at that. They grow almost everywhere in the United States. Oh, wow. And you just basically put it in your mouth and snip off this little stem part. You don't eat that. Uh, you just eat the rest of it. Try it. Oh, wow. Is that not amazing? That was just like a, a flood in my mouth. Yeah. That was fantastic. So sweet. These kind of remind me of a cross between a raspberry and a red flame grape. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. And there's there's <laughs> something about eating eating something so succulent off of a stem that is just fantastic it's very primal isn't it it is very primal yeah all right it's all good stuff so thanks for joining us we'll see you next time mm.